you want to increase your engagement on linkedin so commenting on other people post is a great way to do it but whenever you go and start writing some comment you just go blank just end up writing is an amazing post thank you it's so relatable so we don't know like what to write on the comment so in today's video i have built a tool which i'll be giving you for free so using that tool you can generate any kind of a comment out there it could be professional comment it should be friendly it could be supportive it could be cheerful it could be whatever different kind of a tone you want you can generate the comment on that so let me show you a demo so this is the extension which i have built it's called as the linkedin comment generator let me on it let me go to linkedin now let me refresh so now as you can see the new button is coming over here so now you are going through the post and you like any kind of a post so let's see this is a post we like this is a random post over here i click over here so now this will get open so from here you can choose any kind of a tone you want okay you can keep the model default but if you want to do some different kind of experiment you can choose the model as well i have chosen by default 4.1 nano because it's fast and it gives us a good result so now if you go through the post the post is something around problem when back and front end you can just pause the video and just look through the post and try to come up with some kind of a comment and let's see the comment this tool come up with so let me come and let me click on generate so now as you can see the comment has been ready so great insight on api collaboration ensuring clear contract and shared responsibility can significantly boost product velocity and reduce maintenance so is it relatable or not so from this only you can make out that it's a great comment over here but if you're not satisfied you can come over here and you can say any kind of a feedback just like chatting with the chat gpt let me say generate another one okay let me click on generate so as you can see it has been changed now there is a question it is great to have a question because it increases the engagement other person can reply to your comment as well but if you don't want the question so you can say don't add question so let me generate again as you can see the new comment has been generated and it's without a question so now if you want to change the tune let's say i want to have a funny kind of a thing so let me come over here and let me generate again so let me remove generate so now as you can see the funny comment has been coming over here if you want some more thinking over here you can go for uh, gpt 4.1 and generate it love the analogy an api held together with a duct tape make for a bumpy ride years to making api the engine not the emergency fix great read so as you can see such an amazing comment this tool is creating this all thing i'll be giving for free and i'll be giving you a step by step way how you can use this tool and how you can set up this tool from scratch so hi my name is lakshit and i am on a mission to help people learn ai and leverage ai into their businesses so this video is divided into two parts in the first part we'll understand how to set up the tool in the second part we'll understand how to generate the comments using anten and pass that comment over you so let's get started so to run the tool you will be getting this zip file don't worry i'll be telling you how to get a zip file but when you extract the zip file you'll be getting this folder so in, inside this folder there is a code over here don't worry you don't know how to code so since we have the code over here so now what we can do so we can just go to chrome and just open this chrome extension and there is a manage extension so in the top right side you will see a developer mode by default it will be off just toggle it on and there is a load unpacked so click on that so now it will ask you to select the folder so just drag the folder wherever you have and just select it so once you have done this thing so you will be seeing this extension over here so once you have the extension you make sure this is on right now and now when we go to linkedin and do the refresh now you will be starting to seeing this generate comment part over here what does this extension do this extension is responsible for displaying this ui over here whatever you are seeing and you can select this tone over here and you can select this model over here and whenever you click on generate button it calls this api and pass this information not just this information also the information regarding whatever text is written in that comment it extract the post information with whatever tone and model you selected and pass that information to the anten server out there so now anten server takes all information generate the comment around this post and just reply back to this tool and then tool just display the comment over you and it goes back and forth over you so this is the main functionality of the tool over there okay so now once you have set up a tool now it's time to set up the anten if you are new to anten or you are using the anten you will be needing a instance of anten and by default you will get a anten cloud version over here which has the 14 day free trial but if you are a serious person and you want to have an anten instance then i have brought you an amazing deal over here so my personal anten instance is self hosted and i am using hostinger for a long time right now and they have never disappointed me and now as you can see the monsoon sale is going on where they are providing 71% off on anten vps hosting on top of that i'll giving you a special code of lakshit 10 whenever you put that special code you will get additional 10% off so currently i am also using this kvm 2 version over here you can use this version as well 
and you will get additional 10% off. If you want to see how you can do all these things step by step, there is a video in the i button. You can watch that video. So once you have your Anytime instance setup, this is how the workflow will look like. So this is the Anytime workflow, which we are going to use whenever you get a request from the tool. So this Anytime workflow will handle that request and pass the generated comment over there. So now we have the webhook over here. So webhook is nothing but just an address to which we have to send the data. Okay. And who will be sending this data? The tool. So inside the tool. So this is the code for this tool. You don't have to change anything. Just change this URL part. So whatever URL you might be seeing over here, just use this URL over here and you are good to go. So currently this is a production grade URL because I have made my workflow active. Let me make my workflow inactive. So now the workflow is inactive. So I'll be using this test URL. So let me copy this test URL and just paste it over here. Okay. It's the bottom part. Let me uncomment it. Yeah, this is the test URL over here. So if I want to see is it working properly or not, so I have changed the code. So now I have changed the code. So what I have to do now, I'll go to the extension. I'll just refresh it. That's it. Now your code has been refreshed. So now I'll go to the LinkedIn. I'll refresh it. And now I want to see is it working or not. So let me come over here and click on generate comment. And now let me go to Anaton and let me execute the workflow. So I'll show you. Let me do one thing. Let me make it small. Yeah. So now we have the Anaton and the LinkedIn side by side. So currently let me stop it. So let me start the work workflow. Let me execute the workflow. So now it is listening for the data. So let me come over here and click on generate button. When I click on generate button, so as you can see, the request has been come over here. It has generated the comment and send it over here. And it's so fast over here. So you'll get comment instantly. Okay. So now if I see the data, let me open the AI agent in the view type. Let me make it big so you can see it in JSON part. Now we can see this is the whole caption uh, caption means the post data, which we have and the tone, which we selected model, which we selected this is a unique ID. Okay. This unique ID is required because now we want to have a memory because we want to have a to and fro communication. So for that, I'm using a simple memory. You can use any kind of a different post grace or super based mem memory out there. Okay. So in the simple memory, you can see there's a key over here. This key signifies uniqueness. Okay. So now if I have the same key and I'm doing the communication again and again, and I have a context window of three. So it means it will remember the past three conversation. Okay. So now once we have this thing and now in the AI agent, this is the AI agent which play a major role over here. So if you see the user message inside user message, we are saying here is a new LinkedIn post to generate a comment for, we'll give the post caption means the post data over here, and then we'll give him the tone, whatever tone is there. So if, as you can see, the professional tone is coming and if they aren't providing any kind of a tone. So for example, let's say for some reason, the tone information is not coming. So we have default it as a professional tone over here. Okay. And whenever we give any kind of feedback. So in this comment, we can add a feedback over here. Okay. So whenever feedbacks come, feedback will be added over here. So it will take this into consideration while generating the comment. And now more importantly, the system message play the major role over here. So as you can see in the system message, we are saying you are a helpful professional assistant that generates thoughtful human like comments for LinkedIn. Your goal is to help user engage meaningfully on post by crafting context aware, relevant and personalized comment. You can read through the system comment, but if you want to make the system prompt more like you, so you can give the example of your comment over here and it will start generating comment according to that. Okay. That's some crazy thing. You can fully customize this thing over here. Okay. And if you want to do any kind of a thing, this workflow, as you know, how powerful anything is, you can do anything over here. So now whenever the AI agent generate the output, we want in certain format. So for that thing, we have toggled this on as a required specific output format. In the output format, we are saying that I always want the output in kind of a comment format over here. Okay. So that's the reason if you see the output over here, we'll be seeing output comment. Okay. And now we want to extract the comment from that. So in the edit field, you can see we are just having the now comment variable over here and we have extracted the comment and now we are sending this information back to tool over there. But for that in the webhook part, don't forget to change this respond part by default. It will be immediate, but we want to change to using respond to webhook node. It means that whenever this respond to webhook will give response that response, it will take into consideration and pass it to tool over there. And in the respond to webhook, we are just saying whenever the first item comes, just pass that information to tool over. Okay. That's the reason this information is getting passed to this tool over here and we can see the information. Let me generate another one. So let me start the workflow and let me try to make it a, a funny one and let's use a GPT 4 one and let's generate. So as you can see the workflow is started and we got the response. If you see in the AI agent, whatever information we passed, that information will be there. So as you can see the tone we said funny model, we choose 4.1. And that's how it works. This so seamlessly your entire workflow and the tool has been generated. 
So this is how the real applications work. So edit and work as a backend part over there. And the front end, you can develop anything. This is just an extension I showed you. You can create your own front end and start calling the edit end. And you can do this all request and response part over you. So I know you all might be waiting from where you can get this code and the edit and template. So you can go to my school community, which is free by the way. Okay. And go to the classroom. Inside the classroom, you can see the YouTube resource. Just go over there. Inside that, there will be social media automation. Inside that, you will be seeing the LinkedIn comment generator. So over there, I also have the GitHub repo. You can from the repo, you can clone it. Otherwise, you will be getting the zip file over here as well, which is called as a LinkedIn comment extension. And you all will also get the end template. By downloading this thing, just changing the URL. Don't forget to change the URL inside the code tool over here, whatever URL you're using. And then you are good to go. You'll be having your own personalized comment assistant, which will help you to write the comment. I hope you like the video because I'm providing this all the value for free. I have made this extension from scratch, but obviously I didn't write all the code. I have done the vibe coding and everything, but still I have written the, all the code over here and giving to you free. Sharing this video with other people, liking the video and subscribing it means a lot. Please leave your thoughts in the comment. We'll meet you in the next video. Till then, take care.